Rebels! This is we 2 play the Brent and Brushworks of YouTube. Welcome to Pokemon Sun post-game. I'm at the Royal Avenue. Why exactly? Well, remember this guy? I have this... He has this huge side quest where I'm supposed to find all these opponents that use evolutions. They pouring on Flareon, Jolteon, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, Leafeon, Sylveon. Well, I have went out of my way to find every single one of them. And I'm tracking them through my computer. Tracking them meaning that I wrote down the information of their whereabouts. So today, for you friends and fans, we are going to complete this long mission, and I will even tell you exactly how to complete it. The first thing we'll start off with is take a look at my team of Pokemon that will be accompanying me. We've got Vero the Decidueye, level 100, Pop my Rockruff at level 85, Kachuna, 11, uh, Level 100, my Alola Maichu. Leo, my level 2 Sogaleo. Or Sogaleo. Blitz, my level 100 beloved Shiny Tepig. And Konani, my level 89 Shiny Poplio that I was never expecting to get. Not for one single minute. Did I think I was going to get a shiny Poplio without working toward it? But nope. Fate got me a shiny Poplio out of the blue. So anyways, without further ado, I have wrote down everything that the guy inside says to you about each user. And I'm going to read it out loud as I probably travel to the first destination. Which would be, yeah, around here. No, not, not here. There we go. Alright, so let me read the description to you for Vaporeon. The Vaporeon user Paul. They called her the Wild Whirlpool of Alola. She was a cool drink of water, alright. A bikini-clad beauty who beat all the boys. Her Vaporeon's Hydro Pump could blast through solid steel plating. She was from the... She was from Melee Melee originally. And I think she's trained to be a teacher. Hmm... A teacher. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? If I ain't know any better, I would think all the teachers would be at the training school. So, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fight all of them, yes. But I'm gonna challenge myself. Fighting all the evolution trainers, I am not gonna heal any of my Pokemon. So if they faint, I can't revive them. Not until after the evolution fights are complete, or unless I black out. In some terms, you could call this kind of a miniature Nuzlocke of some sorts. The only exception is that if a Pokemon has an ailment, I will heal that Pokemon's ailment by, you know, Pokemon Refresh once the battle's over. But when it comes to healing HP or even reviving a fainted Pokemon, uh-uh. None of that applies until either one, I defeat every single last evolution trainer, or if I black out. Let's hope it's not the latter. We're gonna find out. So, I've been looking all over the place for this trainer. But if you want to find her, she is upstairs, right over... Um, you won't be her, right? Um, let me reread this. She's a cool drink of water, a bikini-clad beauty. Um, hi, I'm looking for a bikini-clad beauty. 
You're not one of the, my students, are you? What do you want from an old cleaning lady? Yes, she's the Vaporeon user. I forgot to mention that a lot of these descriptions also says it's been 30 years since I saw him or her. In this case, her. I hope that'll be enough to find her. So, 30 years... Yeah, that would make sense. Are you the Vaporeon user? Well, yes, I suppose I am. What's that? Kagetura? Kajetura? I've never even heard that name before. Sent you to bow me? I don't mind, but no complaints out of you for taking on... No, for having to take on this bent old woman. Oh, it's on! Here we go! The beginning! Of the evolution fighting type Nuzlocke thing. We're gonna start off with Vero! Because I'm smart! <laughs> In fact, I may not even have to worry about getting beaten up because my Pokemon are too strong. My thought would be just kind of fun. Yep. That's the end of Vaporeon! She didn't even get to attack me. If you want to see a rainbow, you've got to wait for it to stop raining. Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to be a little more anticlimactic than I wanted. But then again, I'm level 100, so I did that to myself. Every rain cloud has its end. And no one can win against Time's March. Now I'm retired from training, and I spent my days with Vaporeon cleaning these windows. But how is that boy C Cage Tour doing? Is he well? Yeah, he's working grocery shops. Contemplating on life. Missing the glory days. You know, same old, same. So, that is Vaporeon defeated. The Vaporeon user defeated. Now, if I could only... Hold on. I gotta put my game unit down so I can scroll through the list. Okay, next up. Flareon. The fiery magician brimming with light. Chad the Flareon user. His temper... No, his temper... Burned as hot as any flame, and he was always quick to find a fight. His Flareon's fire attacks were relentless, going after opponents like a living thing. I know he always stayed at the Tide Song Hotel back in those days. Alright, so I guess we're off to the side. <laughs> The Tide Song Hotel in Heia Heia City. Or Hei Hei City. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really don't. Alright then. And since she is a Flareon user, I'm going to switch out my Pokemon with Konani. The shiny Poplio. Who, by the way, I'm not sure if I want to evolve. He's a male shiny Poplio. So, but I, I'm conflicted about whether or not I should evolve Konani. So my community question is, do you want me to evolve my shiny male Poplio? Let me repeat, my shiny male Poplio, not female, male. Do you want me to evolve him into a pre-marina? That is the community question. But for right now, I believe this is the gentleman I'm looking for. Yes? What is it? Do you need something from me? Are you the Flareon user? 
Oh, uh, I see. So you know Keitoa. You would like a Pokemon battle from me? How nostalgic. It's been quite some time. Wait, wait, I like the whole concept of the lady working with a Poion to help get a job done. Pokemon and humans working together. Living together, spending time together, hugging, culling, <laughs> doing other things besides those like battling. You know, all that wonderful stuff. Alright, this might be anticlimactic again. I can't lie. Konani, you scold! He couldn't take it! It's down! And Flareon's gone. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be anticlimactic. Yes, yes! At least I'm getting some good money for it. Not that I need any more of that. A fire needs fuel to keep on burning, but once the fuel is burnt up, only ashes remain. My working life is over. I've reached retirement. All that is left of my life is the ashes. Me and Flareon are done with battling. I'd rather just go to Lomi Lomi and relax. Aww. Well, go do that. You deserve it. Okay, who is next? I suppose I don't have to scroll down this time. Jolteon. Oh yes, the electrifying ball of light energy that was Jane the Jolteon user. She looked like a lovely young lass, but beneath that sweet face was the heart of a tyrant. Excuse me. Her Jolteon slammed into opponents like a bolt of lightning from a blue sky. Last I heard, she was working somewhere on Ula Ula Island. Now, I had a hard time trying to find this person because every single business I went to on Ula Ula Island, she wasn't there. She wasn't at the power plant. She wasn't working at the apparel shop or the salon or anywhere else I can think of right now. By the way, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but this garden right here, does that look like a Pokemon to you? It kind of looks like a Pokemon to me, so I'll just keep that in mind for maybe a future installment of this series. Not that there's too many episodes left, but I think I know what to do from here. So where could she be? Where could she be? The library? I would think so, but you know what? For fun sakes, let's check the community center. Because why not? Or so I already know. I believe this is the lady we're looking for. Because... Let's be honest. The last two said they were retired, so what's to say she isn't? Ah, the old eyes are getting tired. Are you the Jolteon user? Wait a minute. Hold on! Almost did something dumb. Okay, can't have Konani in the front. Um, I choose you, pup. I think you would be the best Pokemon for the job. Okay, are you the Jolteon user? Why, yes, I suppose I am. I'm Jane. Evie? Cage Tor? I'm sorry, child, I don't remember them. Aww, she has amnesia. That's sad. I do remember Pokemon battles, though, so I'm not sure if I'm still up to one. You know what, I'll be nice this time. Just give it your all. I could even let you have the first attack. You know, if your Pokemon is faster than my Rockruff. I mean, it's a Jolteon. And technically, I'm using a Lolan Pokemon, so... Huh. Let's find out. I'm not sure if Jolteon's gonna be faster than Pup or not. We got a level 55 Jolteon against a level 85 Rockruff. 
Let's just see what happens. You Stone Edge! Nope, Pup is faster. GG, Jolteon, GG. I'm sorry. I'm sort of kind of sorry. You provide a dazzling battle. Except you didn't get to really do anything, so... <sighs> yeah. When lightning strikes the earth, it is swallowed up and it disappears. Even if you try to whip an old body into action, there are simply limits to what it can do. And besides, I really don't remember anyone called Cage Tora. Well, that is a bittersweet victory, to say the least. Ah, I need to put the game down again, so I can scroll down the list. I have to do that multiple times, unfortunately. I know it's not professional, but eh. Meh. Alright, next up, we are trying to find the Espeon user. Our clue, the Espeon user, Ishan. The sun itself was charmed by his sweet looks. His espion danced past enemy attacks, letting them slide right off it like some kind of miracle. Ishin worked at the geothermal power plant back in those days. But now... And that's all it says. I guess we should look for the... At the plant, then. There's a chance he's still there, right? Right. As I already know. Alright. Let's go, um... But before then, let's switch out my Pokemon. So, Psychic type. I feel like... Zero. <laughs> Ghost beat psychic. It's my Vero is OP like everyone else, but he hey, I'm here to win. So who could it be? Well, if we're following a pattern, I'd almost think it's you. I suppose I should be moving. I'll need to fix Espeon some supper. <laughs> he even confirmed he has an Espeon. Gee, are you an Espeon user? I say that kind of sarcastically because, yes, I already know you have an Espeon. You just told me. Just now. Why, that's a question I haven't heard in many long years. I'm Ishan. If that's what you mean. Cage Tor? Oh, oh yes, I remember that boy. Now that is a tale that takes me back. And you want to have a bow with me? I suppose I could, but please keep in mind I am an old man. Well, we all age at some point. I'm only 30 years old! Alright, alright, alright. There she is, the wonder, the beauty, the majesty of Espeon! Oh, he's a male. Oops. Um... I'm sorry, but not sorry, I'm sorry, but not sorry. I'm not sorry! Look, I'm on a mission. I need to fight all the... Evolution users, so I'm using my best. I'm not going easy on anyone. There's no need for two suns in the sky. Oh. I think I hit. I think I hit them both too hard. Hmm. Bear Sui again. Even the sun itself, who rises with such glory in the morning, must eventually set. So it is for human life, and I think, I think that I see the moon rising on the horizon. But what about that caged whore? He's not that much younger than me. Do tell him I said hello. Again, things are getting a little too real. 
then again, at some point they have to. Alright, next is Umbreon, but I feel it would be fitting to read this in a place that, well, represents Umbreon. Especially considering how freaky the description is anyways. So let me scroll down. And I'm definitely going to have to change up my Pokemon. But to whom? Hmm. I don't have anyone in but I guess Leo? Either Leo or Blitz. I feel like Leo has a better shot. But at the same time, I want to see Blitz! You know what? Let's go with Blitz. Why not? But first, I'm going to... Mm -hmm, wrong button. I'm going to set up the atmosphere for this next fight. So just hold on. Hold on for just a minute. Besides, Umbreon could be here. <clears throat> the description for Umbreon reads, The immortal ruler of the night. Raiden, the Umbreon user. The rumors say that he died once and came back to life. Everyone was afraid of him. His Umbreon gave off its horrifying aura all the time, and never let up. He used to hold some kind of ceremony in the cemetery on Melee Island every night. Every night. Conan, it's daytime! But you know what? I got an answer for that too. I know what to do. All because of one of my previous episodes of the post game of Pokemon Sun. And if you watch that, you already know what I have planned. As silly and ludicrous as that is. We are going to leave the altar of the sun and be transported to the altar of the moon in a completely different dimension. We're going to ultra space again! Woo! Wait, what? Um. Okay, I have Leo. Does he need to be in the front? It says I can't traverse. Can I get off Tauros and then I... I can't... I can't do it. What? Um... Um... Okay, hold on. So, gay Leo. He's right here. Leo's right here. Why can't I... Why can't I go through this? I was able to before. In fact, someone messed with my game and was able to go this direction. Alright. Alright. I didn't expect this. But somehow, I learned this already. I mean, I was planning to go through it to get tonight, but it's... Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine because I it doesn't have to be night. I thought it had to be night, but when I came over to check exactly where I think someone would be, I found him. And he is definitely the Umbreon user. We're prepared to do it at night, but meh. I suppose that's enough for today. I'd better hurry home, or that son of mine will go bo bear bo rotting me again. I don't know what that means.
So I eat the Umbreon user. That tail is decades old by now. How old are you, boy? 30 years, good sir. I know I don't look at bud 30, trust me. Well, you're not wrong. I was once known as Bradian, the Umbreon user. And you know young Cage Tora? How is that little whippersnapper? Sure, I don't mind battling with you, though I'm due to check into the hospital soon. Don't worry, I'll make this quick and painless. At least for you. You're gonna need to take Umbreon to the Pokemon Center before you go to the hospital, though. With that said, go Leo! It was supposed to be Blitz, but I screwed up already. I guess we'll leave Blitz for the last one. Alright, go fast and hard! Sun Steel Strike! Cause why not? Like I said, I want to end this quickly. What better way to do it than with an OP move? Perfect! Now you and Umbreon can go to the hospital. I'm sorry! Why, there are times when there's a full moon. There are also times you can't see the moon at all. Unless you're playing Super Mario Odyssey. Then you see the moon all the time. <laughs> Alright, back to this, back to this. No night can ever be endless. Dawn comes and snatches away the dark. I feel that light creeping into my life. Blotting out the stars and stealing away the night. People used to talk about me once. So I was immortal in such nonsense. I was just in the hospital a long while, that's all. But human life does end. Anyways, you gave Kate Shore my regards. Okay. I don't... I don't want to think about that. I really, really, really don't want to think about that. Actually, we're kind of close to the next location. So if I can read and ride at the same time, I will do that. Glacier. The description says, Miss Absolute Zero. Hold on, I need to see where I'm going. Um, Via the Glacier user. You can tell I'm not looking at my game right now. Um, the cold beauty seems to have a soul of ice when she mercilessly pursued her opponents. Even time flows around the glacier. I know that she was originally, that she originally came from some small village on Mele Mele Island. Oh dear, I went into the mall. <laughs> So we're definitely on the right island. So we need to go to a small village. Heck, let's just ride on Charizard. This is taking too long. We are going to Icky Town. Because there's no other village smaller than that around here on this island. Oh, this is when I can use Blitz. Perfect. All right, Blitzy, your time to shine. So the Glaceon user is going to be on the far left house over here. And she is the lady in green standing by the sink. When is that grandson of mine coming home? Are you the Glaceon user? I asked ironically. Well, I am Rhea, who used to always use the Glaceon in battle. You're friends with that cage tour? Sure, I'll bow you. I'll get it over with in no time. Don't you worry. Mmm, shoes on the other foot, lady. You have no idea what I have in store for you. Sure, it's no grounding, you a ho -o, but... Oh, it's you! Shiny awesome tipping! Yeah! And he's level 100, so, um... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Seriously, bye. The battle's over. Still did not get an attack on me. 
summer ice is much sought after, but no one even glances at winter ice. Okay, that is not true. I don't care what morbid thing you have to say, that is not true. Even the drifting snow will melt away. The only thing I want out of life now is to spend as much time, spend as much time, as I can with my grandchildren. You tell Cage Tora that's my biggest worry now. I don't want him sending more trainers after me. <laughs> will do! Will do! I will set Cage Tora straight for you. Uh, but first I need to put down my game again. So I can look up the Leafeon. The description says, A goddess of beauty in full bloom. Linnea the Leafeon user. She was a world famous model and a powerful grass type Pokemon user. When her Leafeon cried out, even withered and dead trees burst into bloom once more. She used to always stay at the Hano Graham Resort when she was between gigs. I think we know where we need to go. Back to Akala! And we are heading to the other hotel slash resort. But here's the thing. She is not inside the hotel. She is actually on the beach, which is on the right side of the hotel. The Hano Beach. And she's all the way over here. Oops. Just missed her. Now I gotta fight a star, you. Oh, wait, I got blitz. No! No! No, 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 no! No! I mean, obviously, blitz could beat star, you, anyways. Level 100 and whatnot. Why not go waste time with a random bow? And I'm not gonna run into another sand trap again. It's about time for my appointment with the beauti beautician. Actually, you look younger than just about everyone else I've seen. So, are you the Leafeon user? Well, well, yes, I suppose I am. Who might you be, child? Oh, a friend of sweet little Kate's Tora? Of course I'd be delighted to bow you. I still have some spirit left in me. Um, you look young. Younger than most, I should say. But you still definitely look young. Like, maybe in your 40s, I guess? Taking a shot, and I know I shouldn't. Here is a good tip. A good, honest tip. You should never guess a lady's age. Never. With that said, the bow's over. Good try, though. GG. Intense bow is a lot for my old by the bear. You don't look that old! Hmm. I hope I'm not brushing, um, I wasn't even sure what to say there. I hope I'm not bothering anyone with my banter right now. The flower that blooms will wilt and fall. The stalk will wither and return to earth. But not for Leafeon and me, we refuse to accept such reality. I will do everything that my medicine can do to keep my looks. So she's using Botox. Okay, that's a completely different man altogether. But my bones can't help telling the truth. At any rate, do say hello to Cage Tora for me. I mean, I believe the Botox is working to keep you young, but you're not that old! Mm. I don't know, that, that kind of drives me a little crazy. Alright, <laughs> this is only one. More left. And that is good old fairy type Sylveon. The last description reads. The 
queen of fairy Pokemon. Yes, Sakurai the Sylveon user. Hey, my Espeon is named Sakurai in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> the p that pure young maiden was adored by fairy type Pokemon who saw her as a queen. Even wild beasts were captivated when her Sylveon appeared before them. I heard that she was a descendant of the nomadic Sifo. That's the best hint I can give you to find her. Well, I've been playing this game for quite a while. When I think sea folk, I think about the Sleepy Fisherman Village, Sea Folk Village, on Pawnee Island. I believe that is where we're going to find our very last fairy type user. So who should battle her, though? Hmm. There's only one Pokemon that hasn't gotten some time to be shown off. And that is Kachuna. So I guess Kachuna will bow a Sylveon. Why not? But where would so-called Sylveon user be? I believe she's in here. I believe I'm right. So, are you the Sylveon user? Could you be the Sylveon user? What about you? I know it's not her. Because 30 years? Well, actually, he didn't confirm it's 30 years, so... Could he have known her at a young age? Then I've got to go and get Sylveon some snacks at the Malasada shop and- Oh, you the Sylveon user. You're looking for the Sylveon user Sakurai? That's my grandma! <laughs> never mind! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my gosh, I didn't know. We got for Sakurai who couldn't make it to this battle. Just have a moment of peace for her. Okay, they saved the most bitter for last. Wow. Did not expect that. And that cage tour guy asked you to come visit her? But my grandma died last year, you know. And there are three dots. I already knew it, but... Oh, okay, I'm right, 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 I'm only 30 years old, I'm not good die in the next few days. Oh, I know! Here, I keep Sylvia now! So how about Bell? You instead! She's gonna make a great Pokemon trainer. She's gonna make a great Pokemon trainer. Alright, again, let's finish this quickly. I say... You know, quickly is overrated. In honor of your fallen grandmother who I wish to battle, I will finish you in the most spectacular way possible! Katuna Z move! Stoked Spark Surfer! Rest in peace, Sakurai. Rest in peace.
skillfully do what I learned from my grandma! No, no. No, you did. You did enough. I'm actually maybe crying a little. The sweetest part of life is when you're cute. But the sweetest part is also the shortest. That's what my grandma told me. Maybe you can tell that to your Mr. Cage Toy or whomever. Game Freak, why? Why do you, why did it have to be that real? Uh... <laughs> that destroyed my mood considerably. Oh well, it's over. We got to bow all of them. Minus the original trainer. Again, rest in peace, Sakurai. Rest in peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me my dumb coupon I'm not gonna use. Alright, for the last time, let's talk to this man. Then never again. Ever again. Until the next game. Welcome to the Thrifty Mega Market, blah blah blah. Oh, it's you. Wait, what? You beat them all? What happened then? Well, Sakurai's dead, so I feel like that's the first thing you should know. Yeah, I know. Time truly is cruel to us all, isn't it? Fine then. I'm Ray now. You're gonna bow me, aren't you? I have one last favor to ask of you. Would you let me have a battle? Uh, hold on. What kind of evolution are you bringing? It's probably just Eevee. But what if it's not? What if it could be a brand new evolution we have never, ever, ever seen before? If I do this, I think I'll be ready to let go. Okay, you're not dying. Not here. Not now. Please. No. Please, no. There's actually a tear in my eye. Please, no. Oh, darn. It's a Nibi. Not even the shiny. That would have been kind of cool to see another shiny Pokemon. Gaze upon my shiny Poplio. And enjoy the great moon blast! Oh wow, he endured it! He used trump card! I don't know why I'm worried. Oh well, we'll finish off with Hyper Voice! Go! And that is it. Every evolution and Eevee has been defeated. The bitterness of defeat. I must fully savor that as well. I don't think I was paying attention to the level of Eevee. Was Eevee stronger than all the other... evolutions? Enough. It's enough. Our day has come, and it has gone. But I haven't forgotten your reward. Here, I want you to take this. All right, all right, all right. I guess that was worth it. That makes sense. I used that crystal back when I was young trainer, but I don't need it now. You use it and you build a new age. I'll stay here and take care of the mortgage and the old age. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Not exactly how I want to end that off. But it's done. We beat all the trainers that... That guy told us to. I already forgot his name. It's like Kate something, I think. 
There are only a few more episodes left. I would say two. Until the end of the Pokemon Post game. At least for now. We have yet to get to the Battle Tree. But there's still a few other things I may have forgotten to do. So, we're going to take care of those in the next episode. Until then, and until my next episodes, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later.